This is an Epiphone Valve Junior tube amp head with 12 inch speaker cabinet. All stock. It's a 5 watt power amp. All tube. With a lucky lady 12 inch driver in the speaker cabinet. It's called a half stack. And the little red box on the right is a Weber Minimass attenuator. And I've got a uh, rocket harp rocket amp harp here, a honer, and I'm using a red howler uh, bullet mic mainly because my 520D is on the fritz but also because this isn't really particularly dirty on its own so you'll hear more of the amp tone than the mic with this one. Now I'm going to start uh, playing with just the uh, amp itself engaged. I've got the uh, mini mass on bypass. I'll explain what that's for in a minute. Uh, but this will be just the uh, natural tone of the amp with the uh, red howler and the rocket amp harmonica. Whoop, a little loud. So that's the amp by itself um, without any processing by the mini mass. The mini mass is a speaker attenuator, and what it does is uh, it matches the impedance of the speaker system the amp's designed to work with and maintains a consistent impedance, but it allows you to attenuate the signal, the speaker level signal arriving at the amplifier. So you can drive the amp's input harder without reaching ear splitting volumes and thus get to the sweet spot of the amp um, without being too loud. So it works well in uh, small venues or as a practice amp at home. It allows you to get that nice tube crunch without uh, blowing the rafters off. So I'm going to engage the mini mass. That's without it. Uh, level drops down when I engage it because I've got the volume control on the mini mass turned way down so that I can uh, crank the mic volume a little bit and uh, drive the amp a little harder. So I'll do that on a step away so I don't get feedback. <laughs> Exact. up because it's no longer attenuating. So in order to get that crunch that I get with the mini mass engaged, what I normally have to do is turn the input volume on the amp way up and back the volume off on the microphone um, so that I didn't get feedback. And um, in a small amount of space, or if you're near the amp, you're going to get the feedback real easily, and it's going to be difficult to get the volume level on the mic 
at a usable level while still getting that nice tube crunch out of it. So um, this is a real uh, useful tool. In fact, it, in my opinion, it turns this into a harmonica amp as opposed to uh, just a guitar amp masquerading as one. Now, it's also the Minimas has a, a treble uh, boost. There's a 3 dB and a 6 dB position. Um, let's see if I can demonstrate that here. And engage it. definitely noticeable. Uh, adds a little you know, more cut to the sound. The switch over here is just an impedance matching switch so you set it to match the impedance of your speaker cabinet. And uh, the volume just, like I said, attenuates the level going to the speakers. And you can, uh, there's also a line out on the back of it so you could run it into a mixer. Um, you could also use this with a combo amp where the where the power amp and the speaker cabinet are all in one if you're a, a, a gear hack and want to uh, install a uh, interconnect between the speaker and the power amp. It, that is very doable, um, but it's easier to do with a separate component like this. Um, 